this lawsuit, which is asked the county, asked the judge to tell the county, quit collecting the illegal taxes, give them back, um, you know, revert back to the voter approved tax measure as I'd like to ask him to drop it, but it it's legal. There's nothing I can do about it except dislike it. But I can certainly do something about the illegal changes they made. There are or there's the potential if this thing really goes all the way through court that the state will penalize the county in addition to them having to give the money back. Uh, I'm not looking forward to spending the next year going to court and arguing about this if there's a way to avoid it. And, and who are all these folks behind you? Let's see. This is Nicole, my researcher, and Herman and Mary and Orio. This is the plaintiff. This is the guy who lives next door. <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, the humble cure runner. This I'm, is a swell guy who's come. I'm a consultant. <laughs> a consultant. <laughs> this is my co-counsel, Fred Fletcher, and his wife and child. These are two of our plaintiffs who've driven some ways to be here. Yeah, how far do you go? Uh, it's about a five and a half hour drive. There you go. Would you give me some idea what this means to people? They've driven for five and a half miles each uh, hours, each way. To be here. Can you tell us why you're part of this lawsuit? Because we um, feel that this has been very unfair. It's um, a lot of money for something we have not even started to do. Our permit has just have been um, was just given to us in December, and we got the bill like a week later. And uh, it was for last year when we were not even in business. We were not doing anything on the property. So do you mind telling how much they taxed you with? Forty thousand dollars. Forty thousand. And there was no cultivation. No cultivation. And uh, we're due to pay another bill of twenty seven thousand dollars on the thirtieth of May. So it's uh, a lot of money to come up with. And what did with. they base that amount on? On the on a uh, the, the size of the property that we are asking for in the permit is what they're basing it on. And there has not been any cultivation on that site yet because we had not gotten our permit. Makes you upset. Oh yeah, yeah, so. Where's your parcel located? It's in Bridgeville. Bridgeville. Do you know of any other industry, any other crop that's ever taxed not on <laughs> yield, but on the, the idea of it? I do not. <laughs> <laughs> I thought, it, gee, it's a great dream, but uh, so far, <laughs> you know, no. Until something's been, I guess, processed and sold, I would think that it's not going to be taxed. I mean, I do a, a flower business myself, and so until I, you know, buy the goods and sell the goods, I don't pay tax. So. And Fred, why are you part of this? I'm part of this because... I'm part of this because the the people behind this lawsuit are the founders of the Humboldt brand. They grow the right way. They grow in the sun from seed. They don't grow under lights. They don't use synthetic fertilizers. And they're the people who put Humboldt on the map. I'm a medical user and the medicine that these people provide are second to none. They will always have my heart. Mr. Denson, yes. you are quite well known in the cannabis uh, litigation department. You're quite historical, as a matter of fact. I'd like to think so. Thank you. How's it uh, feel to be back on the planks? How's it feel to be back in the courtroom? Well, you know... It's a personal question. <laughs> I know. Uh, I hate wearing suits. I really don't. It's a good time, but the rest of it I could do without. I've been working licensing, and it is so much more enjoyable, uh, partly because you don't have to dress up. Thank you, Ed. Okay.